We've seen a handful of things in Modern Warfare 2 already be adjusted, changed, altered, patched, whatever you want to describe it as, but one thing that hasn't is something that's been there since day one and lets you see a lot of the upcoming plans and content for Modern Warfare 2 for what's presumably Season 1 and beyond. Today we're breaking down those things, how you can access them, what you'll see, when they may be coming, and more, so as we go along, drop your thoughts below. Are you like me and a bit surprised that we still have access to this kind of stuff? Are you looking forward to any specific item we may cover here in this? When do you think all these will drop? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below, but if you enjoy the video you'll find it at all insightful do me a favor and drop a like on the video and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe to stay updated with all things modern warfare 2 as well as warzone 2 and dmz here soon the last few weeks have been absolutely wild and with over 70 percent of viewers not subscribed i'd love to have you in the community as we push towards 600,000 subscribers if you'd like to join us but anyways let's talk about these items of interest so the upcoming items up on deck aren't necessarily so much more minor things but actually some content that we'll see that has functional use that you the player can access and see in your first person perspective on your account and things like that. Things like blueprints, camos, calling cards and emblems and other things are able to be seen here from your PC, Xbox or PlayStation. Now, the other day we briefly touched on it. We didn't really go too in depth on how to actually access this kind of stuff, but it's incredibly easy if you want to check it out yourself. If you go to Modern Warfare 2's private match selection and start up a game, you'll have the ability to choose between either standard modes or the CDL or Call of Duty League playlist of control, hardpoint and search. Now, normally you might not go into those because there's there's not as many modes, there's restrictions on what you can use in terms of weaponry and what else has changed in the actual game modes itself, as opposed to their public counterparts. It's a very selective subsection of the game's offering for competitive play, and I get it if it's not your cup of tea. Trust me, I hardly ever go into those for private matches either. But if you were to, for some reason you can quite literally see everything the game has in the files right now. Now it'll take a few seconds to load up, you'll notice that whenever you go into private matches you can't immediately start the match, change the mode rule sets or maps and things like that. But if you give it a few seconds to load up, you'll be able to jump into a creator class and see quite literally everything. Unreleased blueprints, all camos, and actually the ability to use those in-game, everything. So starting out with the blueprints here with this, this is something you can select the weapon and scroll through all the blueprints for each of them. On screen, we're not going to showcase every single one, but just know there are a handful. A lot of them do have repeating base weapons as well, though, so you'll want to look for things that either have attachments already pre-equipped on it or are named with the weapon's dev name and then an underscore V something. Those are predominantly the ones that will have skins and camos attached to it as a blueprint, but there's honestly a handful of them. Now, there's not every single one in the game, unfortunately, because right now we only have access in the CD modes to assault rifles, battle rifles, SMGs, and sniper rifles as your primaries, and then the pistols and the melee as your secondaries. But everything that can be seen of these will be seen of these. So for me personally, some of my favorites are an unnamed V4 of the M4A1. That one's all red in nature, which is pretty awesome looking. There's a V1 of the TAC-56, an all yellow and black, a sort of Bumblebee vibe with that. There's a V2 or the campaign version of the Castov 762 that's gold plated. There's a V10 of the Lockman 556 that looks pretty cool. A black and green color palette on that one. There's an almost Dia de los Muertos blueprint for the M16. Not sure if that will be something that's held off until then, or if it's something introduced with like season one or something something. There's a Miami Knights style blueprint in 80s synthwave aesthetic for the Lockman 762. There's a really cool Snowman Signal 50, which has the markings of the CDL on the stock. So I'm guessing that will be a major one, maybe major two viewership reward for the winter months here, which is pretty cool in my opinion. There's some nifty pistol blueprints. There's that gold Desert Eagle from the campaign that you could end up picking up as well. So there's a bunch here across things that were in the campaign, unreleased blueprints that are still upcoming, and a lot of other cool things. So as for the art direction of these, just really touching on this briefly, I think that a lot of these honestly look really cool really early on. Now, obviously, when we saw like Modern Warfare 2019 back in its launch, a lot of the blueprints that we had on offer for things like missions and even a lot of the ones in Season 1's Battle Pass in the shop really weren't all that great. Like, there weren't any that really blew me away, but earlier on here, I mean, we still have some really cool stuff even from like the beta rewards that were awesome. But there's to me like a balance between the over the top and realistic, giving appealing looking skins, but nothing too crazy or out there like an alien skin that we just saw on Vanguard and Warzone, or at least not yet. Of course, as the year goes on, we'll see things get a little crazier, and I'm personally fine with that, but I know that others aren't too fond of that, so just bear that in mind. Outside of that, we see the calling cards and emblems all on offer, from the ability to change and edit your calling cards in that specific area of the CDL matches, but the thing is, 
where are these now? Because no doubt a lot of these are probably for season one and when we get those prestiges for seasonal masteries. But with the mention of career challenges from day one, we of course don't have any way to obtain these right now. We're rather view said challenges and the progress that we've made towards those. Apparently these challenges are tracking in the background, but we just don't have the ability to see that on our end. I mentioned it earlier that this was kind of like having a point A and point B, but no bridge in between them. If we have the content at point A and we have the content at point B being them tracking, well, how do we actually get from one to the other? How do we ourselves view it? Because we don't have barracks, we don't have any sort of combat record, nothing like that right now. So I'm curious to see how many of these are actually going to be added later on down the line versus how many are live right now. And that brings me to the next topic of discussion. When will all of these be added in? Honestly, that's a great question, but when we take it historically, how development works for Call of Duties, what I've noticed is that development is usually about two seasons ahead of where we are in that current time. And that's something that even rings true all the way back to the first DLC event that I ever attended back in Black Ops three. I was talking to Jason Blundell at the time, and he told me they're wrapping up DLC four. his team working on Revelations, the MP team working on their content. But that was back at DLC two pre DLC two launch, in fact. So what we see here is very likely to be coming over the course of season one, maybe a holiday event as well. If we get any of that again, we mentioned that there's likely going to be some viewership rewards for the CDL and major one. And maybe we see some of this stuff into season one reloaded, maybe even season two's launch that sort of very base starting point to some of the content we'll see that far out. So we do see some stuff that is pretty planned far in advance, but right now it's pretty cool to see where we can go from here if you ask me. Now beyond that, we also have the ability to see some things like camos. All of your camos are available here to use in these matches. So to me, one of the cool things is that if you want to know if you want to go for gold, platinum, polyatomic, or Orion, you can actually equip all of those on your weapons in these CDL playlists. Go in, inspect the weapons, and see if they're actually worth it to you or not. I personally think there's a lot of awesome camos that you can unlock without having to grind out the mastery camos. So it might be something that maybe that's more worthwhile to you. Maybe you don't find these mastery camos too great to look at in game. So you can check that out preliminarily. Now, the big and final thing that we'll talk about here in this is, will this get patched? Absolutely, 100%. Infinity Ward already stated on their trailer board, or at least the one that was up, I think they might have either edited the current version or it might have been taken down entirely with yesterday's trailer board situation. Infinity Ward accidentally published the admin version of the trailer board, so anybody could go to that link and post anything that they wanted to. And man, people did not waste their time letting them know what they thought. But anyways, it stated that an update was going to be rolling out soon, an actual title update, not just the update requires restart playlist updates that we've been seeing, but they gave no specific details on when, what'd be changing, or what's added, but I would absolutely expect this backdoor into seeing unreleased content being patched up and fixed out so that we don't have the ability to do this anymore. So if you want to check this out, make sure you do it sooner rather than later. But for now, that's where we're at here. This wanted to fill you guys in because I'm kind of amazed that after a couple of days now with this showcasing some bigger stuff upcoming, it really hasn't been fixed out in any regard whenever they seem to be patching some other stuff pretty quickly this still pushes on so that said that's what we're gonna call it i'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below are you guys liking the look of some of these things that we showcased here that are coming up in the future or maybe not so much you're not really too keen on the direction they're taking cosmetics and some of the stuff like that whatever the case feel free to let me know but if you enjoyed the video you find it all insightful do me a favor and drop a like on the video and if you're new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe so don't miss a single thing running all things modern warfare 2 we're pushing now towards 600,000 subscribers which is actually crazy to consider but if you guys would like to join the community i'd love to have you but for now thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys later take care and peace